just now getting light enough that oh there he is guys big fish big fish oh man that's a good one that's a good one hey good morning dude so it's like 5 a.m ish something like that and i just got down here to my boat and check out what we're gonna do today man so mystery tackle box they were nice enough to send me their saltwater box this is it right here now this is the first mystery tackle box i've ever received so i have absolutely no idea what to expect but we're gonna open this mystery tackle box and we're gonna use the lures that are inside so hey let's let's see what we're working with all right this is their saltwater box for those of you that uh, are familiar with Mystery Tackle Box, you know they have a freshwater box, but they also now have a saltwater box, which is kind of cool. Okay, so we've got, we've got, those look like uh, just some little soft plastics similar to a fluke. Z-Mans, here is the Z-Man Shrimp. That may be what I'm using today, boys, right there, the Z-Man Shrimp. Here's some owner jig heads. Now, those are really good jig heads, one-fourth ounce. Those are perfect for those Z-Man Shrimp. Those will pair very well together. Oh, we got us a topwater lure. Check it out, guys. So, this is a, like a mirror lure knockoff, but I'm going to keep that in case we see any topwater fish. Here's a shrimp of some sort man i might could use that too that looks kind of cool and a spoon so i can work with that i'm probably going to start with the z-man shrimp i'm going to move over to that other shrimp if, it, if the z-man shrimp don't work and i'm going to try to catch some redfish and stuff like that and then after that i'm going to take this spoon out to the beach and see if we can catch some fast moving fish all the while looking for topwater fish to throw that topwater plug at so let's go make it happen Oh my goodness, guys, I think this is the earliest that I've been in the pass area this whole year. And let me just tell you something, we have a ton of current and a ton of wind. I'm just working this little beach right here, guys, just to see if there's any early morning fish up here in the surf or something like that. It is just a crazy current out here. I mean, insane. Oh, fish on, fish on, right here. First fish of the day, dude. What are we working with? That's interesting. Okay, I hope y'all can see guys because it is like super, super uh, dark out here still. Let's see what we're working with. Oh, it's a jack. Okay, so we got our first fish on the Z-Man shrimp. And it's a jack. Can you guys see that? All right, fish number uno. All right, I moved locations here just to see if I could get in a better bite. It's just now getting light enough that, oh, there he is, guys, big fish, big fish. Oh man, that's a good one, that's a good one. Yes, sir, first cast at this new location. <laughs> And I smoked a good fish. Yes, sir, baby. He's getting in this current. This current is crazy. And so he's getting me in the rocks, unfortunately. That's wild. Hey, the Z-Man shrimp is coming through here, boys. I like it. What do we got? What are we working with? What are we working with? Oh yeah, nice big slot redfish right here, guys. Wow, this is a really nice, nice slot redfish right here. This will be a, uh, I gotta net him. This will kind of make my morning right here. This is one of those 25 inchers. I don't want to get too close to the beach. I'm getting right up on the beach here. Get away from it a little bit. That's crazy, man. First, uh, first cast there. They fight so dang hard in this current, man. It's wild. Oh yeah, that is a fine one, guys. Look at there. So 
So my last video, you saw me catching these, but it's so much sweeter to get them on artificial lure, man. Look at that. Check it out, guys. Z-Man shrimp right in the corner of his mouth right there. That's cool. That is cool. I'm going to let him go. So I'm going to make you guys a deal, okay? If this post right here gets a 1,000 likes, I'm going to give away a mystery tackle box, but I'm also going to put some of my favorite lures in the mystery tackle box as well because i got a bunch of lures laying around. Uh, so got to get a 1,000 likes. If it gets a 1,000 likes on my next video, we're going to do a giveaway. Let's get back after them again. That wasn't a very good pass, but I think I kind of got them figured out here. Think. It's super deep here, so I'm right off the beach, but it drops off to like 30 foot deep. So I gotta uh, take that into consideration and let my bait sink down. If I don't, you're never gonna get a bite. I'm going back to the spoon now, guys, right here. We're gonna throw this spoon up into the surf and see what we can do here. Never know. What I like about the mystery tackle box challenge is it makes you do things that you normally wouldn't do. I would never normally do this right here. So it really makes you a better fisherman anytime you do things that you don't normally do and you figure out another secret, you get that much better, right? There he is. <laughs> there he is. Oh, he came off, man. That was a uh, that was a bluefish. I saw him. Still, that's cool. I cannot believe I've lost three fish on this treble hook. I'm gonna try the spoon real quick, hit this rock pile where I caught the red and see how they'll react to it. I'm gonna have to hold over the uh, motor though. There he is, guys. There he is. Oh my gosh, I hooked him while I was backing away. There he is, on the, on the spoon right here. I don't think it's a redfish. I'm not really feeling like a red. It may be. Who knows? So it was funny. I wasn't even working this spoon, okay? I was letting it drift in the current, and it got down there, I guess, to the bottom. And I hooked him. Oh, look, it is a red. Slot redfish. You gotta be kidding me. There he is. Look at that, guys. Nice redfish, man, right here off the beach. Now, let me tell you guys something. I'm gonna sit down for a second. When I used to fish redfish tournaments back in the day, a spoon was one of my go-to baits. I used to fish in 2008, 9, 10, and 11. I was big into redfish tournaments, and I loved a spoon. So don't think I didn't know a redfish would eat a spoon. But uh, I'm gonna let this guy go and let's go see if we can catch another one. Let's give it another shot right here. Actually, let's not. Look at this, guys. One fish broke the hook off of the spoon. What? Okay, just kidding. There goes the spoon. I'm replacing this treble hook on the spoon right here. So we're about to be back in business. Look at there, I replaced it. Let me with a lot stronger treble hook. I always like the beach. You never know what you're gonna catch out here. Ooh, I got a bite. Holy cow. Ooh, he's on. He's on. Oh, what? Dude, I had a bite. First cast. Okay. He's on it again. There he is, guys. Uh, what, what are we working with here? Oh, look, it's Spanish. <laughs> Spanish mackerel on the spoon. All right. One thing I highly recommend is uh, anytime you get a spoon of some sort is to switch out the uh, hooks to your own treble hooks. A lot of times the treble hooks that you get on spoons are going to be really cheap. There he is. Man, it's a fish every cast in here, guys. And that's a freaking nice one. Really? I'm gonna say a foul-hooked, gigantic ladyfish. That's what I'm gonna say. 
What do y'all think? Oh, he came off. That probably means he was foul hooked. <laughs> uh, I guarantee you that's what it was. Dang it. I was wanting to get him in to see if I was right. So it'll mention something too. You guys give me your thoughts on this. I got invited on an alligator hunt later this week, all right? And I was debating whether or not to film the alligator hunt. Comment below, let me know if you want me to film the alligator hunt or not. Last time I tried to film an alligator hunt, everybody started hating on me because we were alligator hunting. But let me explain something to you. The state of Florida gives out permits. We have to have population control with these gators. There's so many of them in the state of Florida that they give out permits for us to go uh, kill these alligators. And you know, we only kill a few, but I'm going Wednesday night. So if you want me to film it, comment below, let me know. There he is. Ah, oh, gosh, man. What in the world? Oh, right there. Fish on. There's a good one. He came up and smashed it. That's a blue, I think. No, it's a Spanish. Look at there. That's a nice keeper Spanish there, man. Check it out. I always use pliers when I'm getting out Spanish and using treble hooks. Say whatever you want about me, but I've already been to the hospital enough time to get hooks yanked out of my hand, so I don't really care. All right, I'm back in the bayou, so let's see if the spoon can catch a bayou fish real quick. Oh, fish on. Wow, really? Okay, I wasn't expecting that, guys. What do I got here? Uh, that's a jack. Look at that. <laughs> World's smallest jack right here. So it's 7.35, man. That was a quick, like, two-hour trip. And it was a somewhat successful trip, but now I gotta go to Destin. Actually, one of my YouTube subscribers uh, to this channel is buying a house in Dustin. He wants me to be his real estate agent. So he called me to come over there and help him with some stuff. So I'm gonna go over to Dustin right now and try to close that. But on the way back, we're gonna stop. I'm gonna probably stop at the bridge again in Navarre, maybe. And see if I can do another bridge monster video and have that up for you tomorrow, Wednesday. So uh, this morning I would call the MBT somewhat successful. Like I'm not, I'm not disappointed with it at all. So. Uh, but guys, if you enjoyed that video, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Hope all of you guys have a great week.